This video is meant only to be a companion to the printed instructions. Prior to installation, follow these steps. Prepare the wall for installation. New drywall should be taped and sanded smooth. All surfaces should be wiped clean to remove any dust. Examine the walls to be sure they are clean, smooth, dry, and free of any oils or loose paint prior to applying CS water-based mastic primer. All porous substrates such as drywall or concrete must be sealed with water-based mastic primer prior to the application of the adhesive. Do not use polyvinyl acetate-based primers or joint compounds in conjunction with water-based mastic primer. Wait at least 24 hours after applying the water-based mastic primer to install Acrovin wall covering. Allow the Acrovin wall covering materials to acclimate at room temperature for a minimum of 24 hours prior to starting the installation. The temperature of the building must be permanently maintained between 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit after the installation of the wall covering in order to avoid bubbling and or delamination. Now that the walls are ready for the Acrovin 4000 wall covering installation, follow these steps. A wainscot height installation will be demonstrated here. For full height installation, please see the printed installation instructions. Establish a level line at the specified height for the entire length of the run. Prepare the first sheet by making any necessary cutouts or scribe the edge to fit the inside corner if applicable. Remember to allow a 1 16th inch gap around door and window frames, ceilings and baseboards. This will give the material room to expand. It's important to use the proper tools for cutting Acrovin 4000 sheet material. For cutouts, use a roto zip. For linear cuts, use electric shears, a roto zip or utility knife. If a utility knife is used, be sure to cut all the way through. Applying the water-based mastic adhesive. Use the supplied 1 8 inch V-notch trowel to apply water-based mastic to an area of the wall surface that can be completed within the cure time of the adhesive. Ensure that 100% of the wall surface is evenly coated with the adhesive Apply the adhesive to the wall surface only. Now the adhesive must be allowed to cure. Do not rush through this step. If the wall covering is installed before the adhesive has been properly cured, it will bubble and or delaminate. Under ideal conditions, the cure time should be approximately 30 minutes. But depending on temperature and humidity, it could take up to two hours. When the adhesive is applied, it is white and creamy. As it cures, it becomes translucent and tacky. One way to know that the adhesive is properly cured is to lightly touch the adhesive with your finger. If adhesive does not transfer to your finger, it is properly cured and the wall covering can be installed. Do not allow the adhesive to overcure. Installing the sheet material. Wipe the back of the sheet material with a clean, damp cloth to remove any dust or dirt just before installing. Because Acrovin has a grain direction, all material should be installed with the same top and bottom orientation. Do not install the trim tight against the sheet edge, allowing 1 16th of an inch for expansion. Align the edge of the wall covering with the plumb or level line already established and rub the wall covering along the edge to set it into the adhesive. Continue this procedure over the full length of that edge of wall covering until it has been aligned. Lightly rub the rest of the wall covering until its entire area has made contact with the wall surface. Wainscot trim is then installed. It is necessary to notch the back of the trim where it intersects Insert trim behind the top edge of the wall covering. Once the Acrovin wall covering has been aligned with the plumb line or adjacent sheet, use a roller to ensure maximum contact with the adhesive. 
Starting in the middle, work outward to the top, bottom and edges using full width strokes in an arching motion. Repeat the smoothing process as necessary until the entire sheet makes full contact with the adhesive. CS color matched caulk can be purchased separately for use at wall covering joints. When caulk joints are specified, a gap is required between sheets. Do not make this gap less than 1 16th of an inch wide. When the wall covering installation is complete, be sure to remove any excess adhesive residue with soap and water.